Hi, thanks for watching. I'm Brad Ferguson with Sandler Training in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's a business my wife and I have run for over 22 years. I don't know where people can go to get sales management training or a school for sales managers. Sandler has developed over 400 hours of sales management specific training. It covers areas like motivating, coaching, pre-call strategy, post-call debriefing, accountability, recruiting, and in general, growing the sales organization. Five areas that are usually left behind. A top salesperson is made manager, and their assignment is to replicate of what they've been able to do for the last few years with the staff that they've been given. Yet there's no place for them to go learn how to do that and to pass on those skills and traits to someone else. That really actually answered the second one. <laughs> <laughs> what is the biggest benefit that you see from the sales management assessment portion of this business? It tells us, number one, are there excuse makers on the sales staff? Why are we not getting the results that we're getting? Is accountability missing? Most organizations do not have enough people out doing the required behaviors that bring in new opportunities to the business. They rely on marketing to develop leads, they'll take referrals that will show up, but to personally do the required behaviors on a consistent basis to keep filling the sales funnel, people are just resistant to doing it. When accountability is put in place, sales management makes sure that there are new opportunities, that new revenue will be coming in, and the ownership leadership team can be assured that there will be new opportunities and new revenue coming in in the future. Last question would be, what is the typical expectation in a sales manager assessment program? Ask me that another way. I don't. From a business perspective, right. what expectation should they get or would they have okay. from the sales manager assessment? We're going to learn that most sales managers were never trained for the job. And when it comes to holding salespeople accountable, they're generally held accountable for numbers, not activities. People can't control numbers. When it comes to recruiting, most sales managers tend to hire people that are similar to themselves. They don't find out whether or not the salesperson can sell before they hire them. When it comes to motivating, most sales managers do not know how to run a properly structured personal goal setting environment so that salespeople know specifically why am I doing what I'm doing? What's in it for me and my family? And what am I going to accomplish or acquire in the long run through this career in professional sales? When sales managers learn those things about their people, you've got a highly productive sales organization that follows.